my Intel systems, <laughs> the one AMD system. It's about time, right? Yeah, I agree. Welcome back to another episode. Today we have something special. As you've been following along with me on my journey in building several systems, I have built several thus far uh, within the last year, year and a half. Um, what are we, about seven, eight systems? Issue is all of these are 14th gen Intel systems uh, from the first test bench to the second test bench v2 to the full house pc to the sim rig to the office rig to um the living room pc to the pc that drives some of the av components and i was going to put together one for my brother on the on the cheap so i've been building a lot of intel systems yes it does it does appear that i'm an intel fanboy but I do like the 14th gen a lot more than <clears throat> their latest offering. And we'll be sticking with the 14th gen. I realize that that socket is a dead platform. These should last uh, quite a while, honestly. And, th and that's my opinion. I've been studying to try to keep them cool and to keep them running and uh, in, in a healthy situation. I've been wanting to get into more GPU testing. And I've gotten my hands on a few 50 series cards. And although I do play some games, gaming is not my focus. It's not been the focus on this channel, but I have featured some games in terms of what would be the correct settings if you're going to use a 5080, for example, or a 3080 or a 3090. But I have other 50 series cards that I want to feature on this channel. Something that I realized I don't have, especially when I'm getting ready to prep for my next my next major video series is um, an AMD setup. So my Intel systems, <laughs> the one AMD system, it's about time, right? Yeah, I agree. It's about time I need to get an AMD test bench. Uh, I went and I didn't go with what you guys would probably think would be what I should be going with. Yeah, the 9950X3D would be the ultimate CPU and it would even probably perform better than my i9 14900KS in my office rig. And um, as much as that hurts to say, it's it's the truth. I mean, it's a it's a beast of a CPU. I didn't have that kind of uh, finances in my budget, <clears throat> but what I did have is, after some research, I went with the AMD Ryzen 9900X. Uh, it will play some games and do it okay, but I'm more interested in productivity, uh, the use of DaVinci Resolve, um, more of a creator type focus right now. And as I'm continuing to work on my skill set and my builds, I want to be able to share that with the group. And I think I've got some really interesting information coming out. But anyway, this is the CPU I chose with an 870E Tai Chi from ASRock. You can see I've I'm really leaning toward Gigabyte. And, and that's rock, and I stuck with it. And there's some features here on this board that I don't hear other content creators really focusing on. I'm going to swing for the fences here. I'm going to give it a shot. Um, and then when I was looking at a cooler, I was going to use my Alpha Cool Core 1 to work on my custom loop for this AM5 platform. But when I thought about tearing this system apart and trying to change the block, it was already set. I, I didn't really want to tear it apart. And I tell you, the Alpha Cool Core 1 um, block is becoming very popular. When I was first looking at these blocks, you could get them for $100. Now you can't buy them for $100. They're more around closer to the $130, $150 if you're looking on Amazon or uh, other um, locations. They're, they're getting up in the $140, $150 range. But they are really good blocks. Uh, and I almost pulled the trigger on buying another one, but thought, let me check and see what my favorite blocks are doing. I didn't have an AMD Optimus block, and the this was really the only one that was available, but it was also the cheapest 
available because it's not finished. They're listing that as raw aluminum, copper cold plate, silver hardware. Um, I thought I ordered black hardware, but okay, silver hardware. Who's going to really complain? But I wasn't planning on an unboxing, but look at the finish on this. Even though it's not a coated finish, I haven't even taken it out of the box. We're doing this together. So look at, I mean, that's a rough finish. That still looks good enough to me to put in a system, especially with the performance. I mean, the looks are one thing, and I, I am about aesthetics. You've seen my builds, and you've seen me update builds. Um, but I'm interested in seeing how this AM5 block performs, really. Uh, so... This build will be coming very soon. I want to try to get this together this evening. And we'll see. I've got a lot of content. I've got a lot of synthetic benchmarks I want to run with all the CPUs that I've had. I want to compare the benchmarks between my Intel 14th Gen and this particular platform, particularly for the creators. But, I mean, I will run some games in there because, hey, I game a little bit. Um, maybe you're also interested in it as well, but I, I'm not, I realize that this isn't the gaming CPU, but it'll still do the job and really interested in seeing how this board pans out. And if what I've got planned actually, um, uh, it ends up panning out in terms of how I'm going to be testing these GPU, the, the GPUs that I have. So there is more to come, uh, hang with me here and let's have some fun. See you here shortly. Three hours later.